the city of Udaipur was founded by Maharana Uday Singh. After Chittorgarh was repeatedly attacked by the Mughal armies, Uday Singh went out in search of a safer capital. In the middle of the Aravli range, he came upon this valley. The breathtakingly beautiful Udaipur founded on the banks of the Lake Pichola. their kingdom with care. The city palace is built on a hill right on the banks of the Pichola Lake. The Pichola is continuously fed by rainwater from the surrounding hills. Rainwater runs off and comes and collects here, which meant that the city never ran out of water. It's also one of the most beautiful destinations in Rajasthan, called the Venice of Rajasthan. And if you're thinking why it should make it to the seven wonders list, I don't think you really need to think too much. Just take a look. The city palace complex in Udaipur also includes the famous Lake Palace and Jag Mandir. These two palaces are constructed inside the lake. The effect is so stunning that it's little wonder that these palaces are Rajasthan's picture postcard destinations. But Jag Mandir has an interesting history. Jag Mandir uh, gave refuge to a very famous prisoner <laughs> in history. Yes. Tell me about that. Well, uh, Prince Khurram, who later went and became uh, Shah Jahan, was, was given refuge here. And uh, that is what we believe, that he got the inspiration of building the Taj uh, from, from uh, the Jag Mandir. Uh, the dome, first and foremost, is something that certainly reflects uh, a, a big resemblance to, to the Taj. And as we all know, the, the famous dome of the Taj, which very strongly resembles this. And obviously the other Chhatris, which are the Burjis, which are around it. Are... This is Mahana Pratap's armor and we have got the, his spear, uh, shield and uh, the swords here. The total weight of all this was about 25 kilos. The more job of the peacock courtyard in the city palace is famous for his glass and mirror inlay work. This was the Darbar of the Sisodia kings of Mewar. The king actually sat here on a huge velvet cushion and addressed the Darbar here. But what's really interesting about the Morchok are the peacock motifs. And each peacock symbolizes a different season of the year. The city palace in Udaipur houses a museum, restaurant, conference halls, hotels and shopping arcades. And much of what the city palace is today, a living, vibrating monument, is due to the efforts of Arvind Singh Mewar, the present descendant of the Mewar royals. Our intention has been to create this into a sort of a city within a city, uh, where all the facilities are provided. Nobody comes these days to India only to stay in a hotel. Those days have gone, where only the hotel was the attraction and a destination by itself. Today, Udaipur has become a destination and I think we have done a fair amount of work in making that happen. about visiting the city palace in Udaipur is that you can get a taste of how the royalty actually live and because it's a living monument all their vintage cars are in working order and I'm going to do 60 miles an hour. <laughs> Okay. 